The Vietnam War ended more than 45 years ago. Hard to believe, but for one Siouxland veteran, these memories are clear. In tonight's Veterans Voices, KCAU 9 reporter Lydia Vasquez shares the story of Sergeant Chuck Anderson and his journey in Vietnam. Sergeant Chuck Anderson has lived in Sioux City most of his life. He was a teenager when he and about 40 other men in his platoon were sent to fight in Vietnam. Only he and four other members of his platoon lived to tell about it. And I'm right here on this picture. Is me and Sergeant Chuck yeah. Anderson joined the United States Marine Corps when he was 18 years old. He served three tours in Vietnam, fighting a war he says promised no tomorrow. My whole attitude was, if it happens, it happens. <laughs> I guess you lose friends and the sad part about it is I, I know so many people on the wall but I don't know their real names I knew them by nicknames we kind of tried not to get real close because you know the next day you could lose somebody and that somebody was almost Anderson himself they always figured that the sniper was really shooting at me November 2nd, 1967 was Anderson's mom's birthday and one day before his 21st birthday. It was also the day Anderson says he was spared, trying to protect his friend. When I bent down, Dana took the round and, uh, I, you know, I've always had to live with that too, but how do you predict something like that? Like I said, I put him on the, on the medevac, he was sitting on the edge of and I just bent down to pick. I had his rifle on his back. I had him over my shoulder and his rifle on his back. I put him down, and I had dropped his pack so I could get him in the chopper and uh, bent down to pick it up, and that's when it all happened. Anderson says he'll never forget his time in Vietnam, especially in Ashaw Valley. The Ashaw Valley. Ashaw Valley, if you knew you were going to Ashaw Valley, you, you wanted to give your soul to God. <laughs> it was a death hole. It was, we used to always, we'd walk into the valley and say, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for I'm the baddest mother in the valley. <laughs> so that was our, that was, that was our chant as we went in. <laughs> they shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them. More than four decades later, Sergeant Anderson says he deals with post-traumatic stress disorder from his time in Vietnam. But he says he's grateful for his family and support groups that help him get through each day. Lydia Vasquez, KCAU 9 News.